In grids of applications created with code on time, tapping on the row will open the form in read-only mode. I can press edit to begin modifying the data. Let's say I want to show my form in edit mode when the user first clicks on the row. In the project designer, switch to the controllers tab. Under the suppliers controller, I have an action group of scope grid. The first action in this action group is select with command argument edit form one. When the user taps on a row, the first action in the grid scope is activated. Let's create a new action that will open the form in edit mode instead. Right click on AG1 and press new action. Use the command name edit with command argument edit form one. Let's use a header text of change. Let's add the icon build from the material icon library. Save the new action. Let's place the action in the first position. Let's see it in action. Now, clicking on a row will open the form in edit mode immediately. I can also directly edit the record in the grid by enabling inline editing. Press F2. Now we can edit the row. We can press enter to commit our changes or control enter to stay on the same row. Notice that clicking anywhere on the row will simply move the selection box for inline editing. I can access the standard action by pressing control enter. In order to access our new action, I can press Ctrl F10 to bring up the row context menu and use arrow keys to trigger the action. I can also press Shift F10 to bring up the global context menu and find the change action associated with this record.